Good evening. We'll review the numbers from today. So 80 degrees, uh, the high temperature today, hey, not too far off where we should be. Uh, but look how uh, chilly it can get now that we're in late August, record low uh, back in 1971 at 41. So tomorrow we kick off tall ships, and I think the weather's going to be fine. Dobbins Landing, downtown Erie, temperatures will warm into the uh, upper 70s to low 80s, maybe a little bit cooler right near uh, the water right on Dobbins with uh, a good deal of sun becoming a mix of clouds and sun into the afternoon and mainly rain free weather. As we take a look live right now at the Myers Benner RV weather camera at Erie International where it's 68 degrees, 67 right now in Meadville and 62 in Warrens. We take a look at the temperatures so we're in the low 80s tomorrow and then we have a little downturn probably some wet weather around Friday, Saturday looking great. The sky will clear out mid-70s before more heat returns uh, and more humidity as well by Sunday uh, into Monday. In terms of the rainfall, yes, we finally have a surplus for the month. We're still a little bit behind the eight ball for the uh, summer season, but uh, that 2.22 uh, really helped put a dent in that deficit with a surplus of over half an inch now for the month of August. 70 in Northeast, 65 at Barron, 72 Niagara Pier, 65 in McCain, Edinburgh at 61. Low 60s, you make your way to the east, French Creek, Cory at 61. We're in the low 60s in Warren County from Chandler's Valley to Youngsville, 64 in Scandia. Mid 60s Cambridge Springs to Titusville, Meadville at 66 and 62 right now uh, into Crossingville. Let's take you out here with the satellite Doppler radar loops combined. We've had a few showers and storms up near the Buffalo area and a few more up over northern Michigan. We were watching those with interest earlier, but uh, as expected, they've just kind of fizzled out. So we're going to stay dry tonight and most of the area tomorrow will remain dry. There's going to be a little bit of a lake breeze that develops though, so I wouldn't be surprised if that sparks off a random shower somewhere at the very finish of the day. Otherwise, high pressure stays in control. Then what happens is, is this cold front and little area of low pressure ripples up along it on Friday, so as this front settles its way south, there's probably going to be a round of downpours uh, and some storms around on Friday. Jet pinpoint for the lakeshore then on your Thursday, partly sunny, warm, highs 79 to 84. If there will be a shower or storm, it would be well south of Erie and probably late in the day. 81 to 86 for areas south of I-90. Chautauqua, Allegheny region, Chautauqua, Warren County, partly sunny. Again, maybe that late day thunderstorm highs 80 to 85. Seven day forecast, so uh, again, maybe that late storm tomorrow, but probably not for Erie. Rain, uh, some embedded thundery downpours Friday, 79 but it clears out by the weekend. Saturday turns sunny, 77 turns a little more toasty, though by Sunday, highs mid, maybe upper 80s. Uh, ditto that for Monday, but the chance of a storm late Monday, storms becoming more likely Tuesday afternoon with another cold front that comes through, and by Wednesday, a little hint of fall. Breezy, cooler, less humid, mid 70s. Scan that code right now with your cell phone, take a picture, and that will bring us bring you, actually, right to us, forecast right through uh, the Tall Ships Festival.